I want to walk through how you would take one of the library's research roadmaps, which is an online assessment, and import it into your UB Learns course. First of all, you would go to the UB Learns integration guide that the libraries have created and go to the relevant um, link. In this case, it's a social sciences link. Uh, this is a demo, so this will be more clearly labeled in the live version. So you click it. And this is the zip file for the social sciences version of the roadmap. And what you're going to do is download it, the whole file, not individuals, but the entire file. And you'll see on your browser, depending on your device type, you will see where it's downloading um, either up top, down bottom, up top. I'm working off of a Mac. Next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you understand where in your folder structure this uh, roadmap resides. Okay, so in my case, I'm just going to move it and put it onto the desktop. Okay, and now it's sitting on my desktop waiting to be uploaded into my UB Learns course. So now I'm going to go to my UB Learns course. Here I am. And I'm going to decide um, where I want to deploy it later, but first I want to get it into the course. So if I open up course tools here, down at the bottom you have something called test surveys and pools. Go ahead and click it. And in this case it's a test. It's a single test. Okay, you're going to import the test and you're going to browse your computer to do that. Okay, remember I put it on the desktop and there's the social science version. Open that up and click submit and UB Learns Blackboard does its magic. It's uploading, it's uh, uncompressing the zip file and uploading the research roadmap test. We would recommend that you have a librarian come in and do a live session with you before your students actually do the uh, the research roadmap, but um, if that is not possible, this is the next best thing. Okay, come click OK. Uh, now you'll see here that I have deployed the Arts and Humanities version under Assignments, and I have not yet deployed the Social Sciences version. Okay, so just because you get it uploaded into UB Learns doesn't mean it's ready for your students to see. You need to deploy it. Now, you could deploy it under course documents if you have various folders and you wanted to put a test assessment. You could put it under assignments, which is where we're going to put it now. Here's the Arts and Humanities version. So we go under assessment, test, and then it gives me options to choose. We're going to choose the social science version. And here's where you're going to put information um, about the test itself and how you want it deployed. You want it available, obviously. Do you want multiple attempts? I usually don't. Um, you want forced completion. You want them to do it in one sitting. And you want to try and avoid um, cheating. The timer is set for 60 minutes. I would leave it at 60 minutes. I don't think it would take them more than 60 to get through. Um, if you have a student who needs um, adaptive time, you can always change that. Um, okay, display after and until. That's fine-grained if you want to do it. Most people leave it. Select a due date that you want them to complete this assessment. And whether or not you're going to include it in the Grade Center. Okay, this may be something that you just want to, you know, do a check off that they've done it. Or if you want, you can include the grade they get in the Grade Center. I'm going to leave it in the Grade Center for now. Uh, test results. Here you want them to see all the answers and you want them to get feedback. So make sure those two items um, are selected. We have designed it so that they'll get feedback as to why a particular answer is wrong. All right, all at once is the default. Because this is, I think, around 13 questions, I would not present it all at once. Might be a little overwhelming. I would do one at a time. Okay, all set, click Submit. And here you have the Arts and Humanities and the Social Science version. Um, we also have a Health version. So let's go into Social Science. That's what this looks like. Just so you see what your students would be saying. So they'll be getting, getting a question that's kind of like a real world question. You're asked to find and read a particular article. 
um, you're looking for a digital copy, it introduces them to the library's website, but here's a video that you want them to watch on how to um, actually find the item from the library's website. And then there's a multiple choice question. All right, so which of the references do you um, reference above do you use to support? So let's see the title of the article and then they would click save answer and move on to the next question. Okay, same thing, working on a paper, here's the topic of the paper, here's a video we would like them to watch, okay, and then a, a series of multiple choice. Um, so in this case there are 12 questions for them to go through. So that's how you get the library research roadmap into your UB Learns course. Any questions, please refer back to our guide and we would be more than happy to help you. Thank you. Have a great day.